from Francis Parker, the D5 state champion. They coming by, slowed it up a little bit there at 67 208. Neil Young down the back stretch. Holland, Lex, Aaron, Laney, Cadillo, Paula. And we're picking it up. They came to run fast. Coming down the stretch, here's our defending champion right here, Colin Sullivan, the national cross country champion, Seth Foreman and Byler. And here we go, coming by at 1,200. We picked it up back to 65. That whole group right there, 318. So they are certainly on sub nine minute pace. That's Connor Burns, hit number five, moving up now. He's trying to move up there on Laney. Burns, so we have Laney. And Burns and Cadillo. All right, here we go down the stretch, starting to separate. When they ran here last year, they ran that great race at 840, they came by at 422. They came by at 422 last year, and right now we come by at 418. 64, we're picking it up. Here we go, and they have the speed to close. Solomon is already run 833.32. That was in an open meet. This will be in a high school meet. This establishes everything. The entire field, everybody in this race, he went under 430. Everybody under 430. Oh my. Everybody's running fast, but up front, it is something special. And that group, that pack right there, that's running right by the flight pole, they are running right in the potential to be sub-850. The numbers are mind-boggling, but here they go. We got Freeders through. Let's help them on these three laps. This will be the greatest high school 3200 mass group ever right here. And we're going to see it, and we're going to help them get there. 66 on that lap now. Nobody wants to be out of it. These are all sub nine minutes. Leo and Colin down the back stretch. And Leo making a move. Leo pushing the pace. Last year, Lex Chase Solomon all the way down to the finish. Leo, he's got the speed. That is a 358 miler and a four flat miler. Yes, high school kids, 358 and four flat. They have the speed. And look at that group. We've got three, four, five, six, seven boys that can challenge 850. And we've got two boys up front that can challenge 840. And we've seen them both close at under 60 before. And Leo picking it up. 700 meters to go, the junior picking it up. The senior, Colin, goes with him. And the pack is picking it up. Oh, my. If this race was just that pack, 
in three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we'd be watching one of the greatest races ever. We are, but up front, we're watching history. Segura, St. John's, 847-19. Aaron Salmon, 8th place at 848-28. That has got to be the greatest high school 3200 ever run, without a doubt. It was good. I mean, I, I, unfortunately, I, I think we were hoping for some faster times. But, I mean, the race, they raced well. They looked good. Before the race, a not to my knowing, decided to split laps and I just think the rhythm was crazy. I don't really know what happened. I think those second and third laps may have kind of put us back. You learn from it, you know? We wanted to try and go around that 4.15 pace, so that's a really hard pace to push. I mean, the guys ran well. Uh, Lex and uh, Colin ran 8.34, 8.35. Aaron, 8.48. Uh, Leo struggled. Leo was sick all week, and we decided this, uh, this morning it was a go. Probably not the best decision. His lead up to the race was definitely far, far, far from ideal. I mean, he was working through a lot of sickness, so expecting him to try and push it was probably a little bit uh, unreasonable for us. But, but you know, I think he just needed to figure it out on his own, because I think if we didn't let him run, <laughs> he would have been pretty PO'd. So. You know, we really wanted to try and push through like fast mile 412 and we tried to make a plan where each person tries to you know do their own part. So it went like we, we, had, we tried to plan it with Aaron taking it out because Aaron does a good job of taking it out really fast, then Leo, then me, and then Colin. I think they went through 210 and it was like, oh geez, we're way off. So um, it was slowly trying to like tick back up there and grab it back. And I don't really think that that worked today. So it's kind of a learning experience for us. But I, well, I wouldn't have them split the laps one by one. I, I don't know what that was. But again, you know, we talked about it just about five, ten minutes ago because, you know, they were getting interviewed and stuff. And I was like, what was, and they're like, I know that was a bad idea. 
but you know, I, I think it just threw that rhythm off. After that, we did our best to try and continue pick it up. I think that first mile was like four, is it 418? Okay, so then we negative split it a little bit then. So that second mile, we had to continue picking it up. And I think around lap five, I noticed Colin starting to drop the pace a little bit. Or I mean, sorry, I mean slow down the pace a little bit. So I made sure to come in front and pick it up just because from the get-go, we knew that we are going to have to work together if we wanted it to be fast. So We work with each other. We work, we're with each other every day. And um, we, we race as a, as a team. I kept saying, like, Colin and Lex looked so good. I was on the far side, like, looking over the fence. And I was like, man, these guys look great. But they're just not picking it up. And like, and then when I started to slow down, Colin, who's feeling good, he pushed up. And that was awesome because it really brought that last lap through what we needed to. And I think it just, between Lex and I, just made a really, made a really big, you know, move just those last like four or five laps just try to get through and we kind of push each other until the end and then coming to the last hundred you know it's just it's all out it's it's every man for himself you know we just pushed as hard as we could try to bring it in and i'm honestly i'm really happy with the way i did that it was good you know i mean i, I guess if you if you're mad at an 834 i guess that's pretty harsh <laughs> I think that we just have to really try and run our own race, maybe, as a learning as a learning perspective, because I feel like that's when we do our best. That's what we did with Cross, that's what we did um, all of our other track races. So really just make your own race and maybe just, yeah, just do what, do what you do from the start. Just bummed for them because I know they wanted a big night and uh, it just, you know, doesn't always work out to have the, uh, the stars aligned, so.